Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumed YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a mask that was sent to us. This is the 3M KF94. The viewer actually sent us the link on where, where they purchased these. So these were purchased on G Market. They come in a box of 50 for $36.25. Most if not all of the writing on the packaging and on the listing is in Korean. In terms of logos, it only has the logo down here of 3M. The material is a little rough, but this is the first time that we see a mask have the nose foam inside of the mask. They, they're actually also very thin, but most KF94s that we've tested are thin. So let's go ahead and take a look at the nose wire. It is actually a very strong nose wire, but the only thing that I am noticing is that it's very short compared to the nose foam. So the nose foam ends here, and the nose wire is here. Let's, so let's go ahead and try these on and see how they fit. Ooh, okay. So these ear loops are very tight. So for some, okay, they smell super bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, that really caught me off guard. So I definitely don't feel like this nose wire is enough to fully seal my nose. Like I said, the nose wire literally ends right where the nose ends right here. So usually most of the nose wires kind of end on this area and I'm able to have a good seal, but not with these. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this mask is a little too short when it comes from like being to the nose to the chin, it's a little short. I don't know if it's just me. We're gonna see how this hook comes in. Would I be, would I hook it like this? Now that I incorporated the hook, it made my ears fold. So this is not gonna be comfortable for a long period of time. It's not comfortable now and I've only had it for a few minutes. So let me remove this hook. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with glued to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for air flow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 98.86 and had a pressure drop of 8.8 .8 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.05 and had a pressure drop of 8.9 millimeters of water. So overall, these tested pretty well for both filtration efficiency and pressure drop. One thing I didn't love about these masks was that, as I mentioned before, I do feel like it was too short. So I have to be careful whenever I'm talking because it might come off of my chin, which is something that I don't really wanna have to worry about while I'm wearing a mask. The hook was just not for me, like you guys saw, it made my ears go to the front, so it just didn't make it as comfortable. And the last thing that I wanted to point out was the nose wire, like I said, I felt like it was too short and I wasn't able to create a good seal. But the numbers do speak for themselves and these are some of the best masks that we've tested right under the BNX bifold mask. So if you are a fan of bifolds and have a petite face and are looking for a Cave 94 standard, these could be a good fit for you. I also wanna make sure that you guys know that it does have a very strong smell. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Thank you to our viewer for sending us these KF94. And if you guys want to send us a mask or respirator, please make sure to check the description box where we're going to have our address along with our website, which is acumet.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.